This is a story about a man named Willie, who has a wife, a family, friends, a home, and a drinking problem. I don't know, man. I just drink. Ain't nothing else to do. Don't have a job no more. My old lady, she's always fussing at me. So I just go down to the baby's house and drink just to get away from it all, you know? Started a long time ago. My daddy had a still. We'd work all day, chopping wood and all. Sooner or later, you know, I knew I was going to get a chance to try it. And I did. Man, it was really good. Heck, drinking didn't hurt me now and then. I was a big boy in the neighborhood. It was a lot of fun. We'd hang around the store, watch the woman, and pass the bottle all day long. In fact, that's how I met Roxanne. <laughs> Man, we were really happy then. We got married, children started coming, and I had steady work. Everybody in the neighborhood used to come over to our house for cookout parties. Life is really just treating us good. But then, things started to change. I don't know, man. Seems like the liquor just got hold of me, that's all. Before, when I drank, it, it was for fun, you know? Sure, I, I mean, I'd get all drunk up, but most times I'd be all right the next day. Then, seems like I started drinking because of the need. And just 
couldn't get along without it, you know. I'd wake up in the morning, be shaking all over my body. And sometimes I couldn't even remember where I'd been the night before. It seemed like something was always worrying me, too. Not enough money in the house. The baby would get sick. Work was just really hard to come by. It seemed like it just come up on me. Uh, now I'm sick all the time. And I don't seem to be myself no more. Where you been? Ain't none of your business, woman. Actually, if you got something to cook here. Ain't hardly got nothing to cook. Ain't no money. Where you been? You bother me. You know that? You bother me. Ain't no need me to keep up all the pushing, pushing, you know. Tired. You're not listening. I'm sick and tired of you always coming home drunk all the time, acting crazy. 
crazy, well, you know what, well, you're crazy. You are crazy. Well, money, we do get you spending on the damn bottle all the time. Kids ain't got nothing to eat. They got decent clothes to wear. And then I'm always here all by myself. You'll never know when to come home. And you talking about your sick and tired, well, you know what you're doing? You're always taking all the money, spending all the time over there over Grady's house. Staying drunk. You turn out to be nothing but a liquor head, well, nothing but a liquor head, well, <laughs> And that's why alcohol affects the body the way it does. You see, alcohol is a drug. That means you can become addicted to it. When I say addicted, I mean that you become so dependent upon it that you can't function without it. A person that's addicted to alcohol is known as an alcoholic. That means most of the time, you can't get through the day without having a drink. This just doesn't affect the person that drink. It also has a bad effect on the family too. Alcohol badly affects a person's health. It damages the brain and your thinking and the way you act or do things. If you're an alcoholic, you can get to the point where you're not in control of your actions. Alcohol badly affects a person's body. It damages the kidney, the liver, and even the heart. If this goes on too long, it could cause damage inside of your body that you can't even see. It will make you sick. It will make your hands shake pain in your stomach. It can make you so sick until you can eventually die from it. Sonny, if you're not going to pay attention, man, you may as well leave the class. It took a long time to get Willie here. I think he wanted to come, but I think he was afraid. His friends, huh, they said this place wasn't no good for him, that he was all right the way he was. Huh, they don't know. They don't know what goes on at home, the way he used to be. I've been talking with the people here, and I think they can help us. They kind of understand about what's going on with us. I can talk to him, tell him my worries. Seems like I just can't take it no more. Since Willie took the drink, it's all been down. The fighting, man, we fighting. Fussing with the baby. And they don't do that much wrong. Huh, <laughs> Willie and I, we ain't got much left anymore. Sure he walk, he talk, but he's so dead inside. So that's my problem, man. But you're here now. And together, man, there's a chance that we can make things work. But there's got to be an effort for you to want to help yourself. It's not going to be an easy road. But man, with all the people that you got on your side and all the support that you have, I think you can make it. You know, you've been telling me about about your past and some of those things in your life that are most important to you. I say, for example, 
This is your land. And this, this is your home. This is your job. And these, these are your friends, buddy. These are your children. And this is a son who you're proud of. And who wants to be proud of you. And this, Willie, this is Roxanne. This is your wife. This, this is the alcohol. This is your drinking problem. Now, is this more important than all of this? Look at it now. Are you willing to give up all of these good things that you have, man? Your land, your home, friends, your family, and your wife for this? Is it worth it, Willie? Think about it, man. It hurts, man. It hurts me to hurt my family. And Roxanne, well, she puts up with a lot. And when I treat her bad, it, it really hurts me. It really hurts. So, this is Willie's story. He had some pretty tough problems. Jobs weren't easy to come by, and it seemed like there never was enough to go around. But Willie had a lot going for him. He had his family, his friends, and most importantly, they all cared about each other. Hey. Getting lost in the bottle wasn't the answer. Because he lost himself, he lost pride in himself. And Willie had a lot to be proud about. It wasn't easy. He said life again, family. It just got lost for a while. <laughs> <laughs>